My responsibilities include uh, being a general internist and a health services researcher here at the University of Michigan. I spend the vast majority of my time doing health services research and less of my time uh, seeing patients, providing primary care at the Ann Arbor VA, and then also teaching residents and medical students on our inpatient service at the Ann Arbor VA. My work focuses on improving patient decisions about prevention and about use of the healthcare system. Patients have a long-term goal for their health, especially things like prevention of chronic disease like diabetes, but oftentimes have a hard time doing things in the short term that will help them achieve those longer term goals. I try to think then about the science of how people make decisions, think about how to translate insights from the field of behavioral economics uh, and decision psychology, to think about novel ways and scalable ways that we can help people make better decisions that are in line with their own long-term health interests. One area where my work is having an impact on policy is uh, in the area of consumer-directed health care. So much of my research focuses on how patients make decisions when they face high levels of cost sharing for their care and how we can help them make better decisions about their use of the healthcare system in those situations. Through that research and then through dissemination efforts within IHPI and within the University of Michigan Medical School, those results have reached policymakers here in, our, in the state of Michigan, in Lansing. So I was fortunate to have the opportunity several months ago to give testimony, testimony before the Senate Health Policy Committee. I think that's a clear example then of how our work is directly influencing and, and, and interfacing with policymakers in Lansing. I think another big example of that is uh, our evaluation within IHPI of the Healthy Michigan Plan. So this is our state's Medica Medicaid expansion, um, which uh, as of now has extended coverage uh, to 400,000 to 500,000 low-income Michiganders, many of whom did not have health insurance um, before that coverage was available to them. And what we're trying to do within IHPI then is understand the impact of that Medicaid expansion. And so um, what that's going to lead to then over time is a better understanding of this uh, policy uh, change within the state of Michigan and hopefully better health for the residents of our state because of IHPI. I think the area in which I focus is, is among uh, the top problems in our healthcare system, and that's the issue of how engaged patients are in their own, uh, uh, in their healthcare. We have designed our healthcare system in ways uh, that often don't empower patients, motivate patients. How can we then um, shape our healthcare system and help them make better decisions um, that will ultimately lead to imp uh, their improved outcomes? The Institute for Healthcare Policy and Innovation brings together researchers across the University of Michigan, across schools, across research groups, um, all of whom are doing research aimed at improving the healthcare system in the United States. Every American at some level interfaces with our healthcare system, and so I think we all realize the different challenges that are contained uh, therein. We have the potential here to think about uh, those problems in ways that they haven't been conceived of before and develop new solutions to some of those old problems. My hope is that we move towards a healthcare system where it is structured in a way to have patients be much more active participants in their healthcare and be much more actively engaged with their healthcare team and really has their healthcare system be um, a more longitudinal partner in their care as opposed to an episodic, infrequent, random point of contact. So that's where I hope healthcare goes. I think it's going to probably be 20 years before we get there and we may only achieve part of that. But I think that's ultimately where we need to go to take advantage of technologies and insights that we have now um, and uh, so as to provide care more efficiently and effectively. Mm -hmm.